Good morning, everyone. This is Jeff from the Overwatch team. We're here with another developer update. So one of the things that we see you ask for the most is new game modes. And now I remember back at BlizzCon, I think it was last year, I was once asked, are you guys ever gonna do Deathmatch? And the answer at the time was no, we just didn't think it was right for the game. Our thought was that in both quick play and competitive, we always wanted teams focused on objective-based combat and not off kind of doing their own thing. Well, things have changed. We've introduced the arcade last year and it's been a really big success for us. But the coolest part about the arcade is it's opened up our ability as developers to introduce game modes to you guys that we wouldn't normally feel comfortable putting in the quick play or competitive rotation. So therefore, the exciting announcement is that Deathmatch is coming soon to the arcade. And I think you guys are gonna really love it. So for those of you who don't know what Deathmatch is, it's probably one of the oldest forms of FPS gameplay where the simple goal is to see how many kills you can get on the scoreboard. And that's right, we've built a special scoreboard just for Deathmatch so you can know how good you're doing in terms of kills. Now there's two different ways that you will be able to play Deathmatch, and I think they're both awesome for different reasons. The first, the core mode that we're just calling Deathmatch, is completely free for all, meaning it's you against seven other players in a map. You can pick whatever hero you want, and I guarantee nobody on your team is gonna complain about it. All you have to prove is that you can get the highest score. We usually play to 20 in these deathmatch maps that you can get the, high, the highest score before anybody else. Now you might be wondering, you know, in the arcade, does that mean I have to beat seven people every time to get my win to count for my arcade wins each week if I wanna get my three loot boxes? Well, the way we handle that is if you are in the top half of players in the, in the match, which in this case means you're the top four, you will get win credit towards your arcade loot box. But obviously you really wanna be that top player um, and I have faith in you guys. I think you can get there. I think you should really try to be that top player. So you might be wondering like, well, where do I play Deathmatch? Uh, all the maps are built for Escort or Assault or Control. Well, we've modified a lot of our maps, not all of them, but some of the hybrid and Escort maps and some of the Assault maps, we've modified portions of them to accommodate this Deathmatch mode and we think you'll find it a lot of fun. The other thing that we're doing, and perhaps most exciting to me personally, is we're introducing a brand new map built specifically for Free For All Deathmatch. Now, not only does this map have great gameplay, we've put some really cool jump pads, there's open areas for Farrah to fly around, tight Reaper corridors for you to mess around with. The gameplay is great, but I think the story is really cool and the art behind the map is awesome also. So the map is home to Amelie Lacroix. You might know her better as Widowmaker. Well, previously, before she was married to Gerard Lacroix, she was known as Amelie Guillard. Now, this is Chateau Guillard, her family estate in France. And we think you'll find it amazing and beautiful, and there's gonna be slight hints about her background and what she's currently up to in this map. So we think it's gonna be a lot of fun. You have a new custom free-for-all deathmatch map to play on in the upcoming patch. Now the other mode that we've added is team deathmatch. And this one's very simple to explain. It's just like the other mode, except that you and your team, which is gonna be a team of six against another team of six, are playing to get to 30 kills. And we'll see who can get to that 30 kills the fastest. Um, Mercy Resurrect does some interesting things in this mode. It actually takes kill credit away from the other team. So someone like a Mercy is super valuable to have on your team. Now the team deathmatch maps use a different pool because we did a lot of testing and we found certain things worked and certain things didn't in team versus free for all deathmatch. For example, the Chateau was not particularly fun for us to play team deathmatch on but the arena maps like Black Forest, Necropolis, Eco Point Antarctica, plus some other portions of other maps that we've done before, like you'll, you'll see some of our modified CTF maps were fantastic for this team deathmatch mode. So we hope you guys will play these. 
they're completely different than anything we have in Overwatch. I like to think of it as a great area to go and blow off steam after a really tough night of competitive matches, or perhaps you're just starting the night and you want to get warmed up for competitive so you can jump in and have some fun there. The game is completely different. Both free-for-all and team will bring different elements to you all. I think a lot of you who played old school shooters will really love the vibe that this brings. And more important to me is that I look at this as just the beginning of what we can be doing with the game browser and custom game and deathmatch as almost a platform. So obviously we have a very basic rule set in there. We let you pick whatever hero you want. You can actually skip the kill cam to respawn faster in this mode, which a lot of you will really like. But we're gonna be looking to the game browser and custom game for future iterations of adding cool and new interesting rules. I think some of these will be immediately available to you guys. For example, one of the funnest playtests we had, we made everybody go McCree for two minutes and we played all as McCree in free for all deathmatch. And then after two minutes, somebody called out, hey, let's try out Hanzo's instead. And we all went to Hanzo's. I'd love to see you guys trying this stuff in, in the custom game browser. And maybe eventually we'll build more rules in the custom game browser that allow you guys to create more cool and awesome modes and us along with you on that. So anyway, I know at one point I said we would ne never have deathmatch in Overwatch. Well, surprise, never say never. It's coming really soon and we think it's awesome. Get out there and enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.